Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Friday the 26th of February 2021. So the headline is uh, stocks hammered at the cash open. This is the Dow for the fourth straight day and no Powell speeches to save the day today. Well it just got worse um, as the day went on which we'll look at in just a moment but uh, let's have a look at the other news that was out yesterday. Uh, quarter four GDP revised to 4.1 missing expectations. Of course None of this matters as the only thing traders care about is how strong the Q1 rebound will be and how big uh, will be the inflationary tide. And obviously the inflationary tide is going to be dominating the news over the next few weeks and months as well. First time jobless benefit uh, seekers plunge to COVID crisis lows amid collapse in uh, California, Ohio uh, claims. However, the total number of Americans on government unemployment benefit rose back above 19 million last week. So not looking good for Biden here. Uh, now we get into this, the, the, the real meat of why the market uh, fell out of bed yesterday. Uh, and that's to do with the bonds less than one basis point away from convexivity uh, disaster. If the sell off extends beyond there, we think US stocks and credit spreads will suffer. And this was just the start. Overnight, Japanese 10 year uh, uh, blows out above the uh, YCC barrier, yield curve that is. Uh, but uh, in the US yields are already sliding. We'll look at that in real time uh, shortly. Looking at the current levels, it'll be hard for investors to stay bearish and uh, they'll start to think about uh, dip buying opportunities well it's a bit of a positive thing because that's what they've been doing for the last 13 years buying the dip australia also yield curve control is on the verge of collapse is it when you try and control it from a monetary point of view which uh, the government have been doing under i think what is called the tina program so the market barely moved on what should have been a pretty uh, positive surprise uh, for australia uh, cta selling of bonds has, has got uh, so relentless it looks like it's unnatural. Uh, the momentum behind systemic bear traders in bond futures is looking increasingly difficult to rein in, according to Nomura. You can see it's all bond news. Treasury yields explode after catastrophic uh, tailing of seven-year auction. This is as close to a failed auction as we have ever come. And uh, Albert Edwards, uh, we're on the uh, we are at the breaking point. Uh, the real. Uh, risk is that further monetary concessions won't appease and that's the important bit the mob and the fed control is lost well it's been lost for a long time that's why they're just printing money instead of letting the whole thing go tits up frankly which they should have done in now where are we 2008 but they didn't so now we have a problem with the bonds and overnight uh, you can see here let me just uh, change this to uh, five day you can see we had a massive spike uh, yesterday. I spoke about the 150 level. Well, yesterday we went uh, straight uh, through this. Just bring this back. And you can see the high yesterday was uh, 154. And uh, say the higher this goes, uh, the worse it's going to get. It's going to put pressure on the stock market, uh, immense pressure on the stock market, because people will be seeing that uh, newer bonds that are going to be issued are going to have to have a higher rate to make them attractive to take on the debt. So it's uh, certainly interesting at times. Uh, this is also reflected in the implied volatility, a massive spike yesterday from uh, 17.05 to 20.85 as well as we go above the 20 bar moving average in the implied volatility chart, but we're still above the 20 bar moving average in the Dow cash at the moment, which we'll see again in a moment. But still amber warning on the implied volatility. Is the Fed going to come to the market's rescue? That's going to be the question. So here you can see yesterday the market hammered to the downside to the 20 bar moving average. Didn't close below it, but uh, trading below it uh, currently with uh, more weakness. Quick mark up here because this is the high that's uh, left behind. So from here to here projected down, uh, you'll see the market's already at uh, the 89% and uh, below it. So we need to have a look at uh, this low, which goes back to the 23rd which I think is Tuesday if I recall and if this is taken out then it's a matter of this low to this high and that's where we go in fact that's interesting because the this is in the Dow of course you can see that we've got a 38% retracement at this low so uh, 3155 or 3150 is going to be a crucial area if this is taken out 
then uh, we go down to uh, the 50% retracement there. The DAX also, uh, have a look at the daily chart. You can see yesterday huge amount of selling this took place in the afternoon and uh, already from this low to this high this too is also sitting at the 89. So you'd want to draw in this low. This is a really important low, uh, which won't be on the chart, but you want to mark it up 13,663. If this is taken out, well, we head down this way, don't we? From this low to this high projected down to see where there would be any support. So let's have a look. So 62% retracement here at uh, 13,000 let's make it 600 because they're likely to move down to the BRN so let's just tidy this up uh, the 50 percent has been taken out as well so we'll remove this so we've got uh, this 13,700 big BRN there then at the 663 and then the 62 otherwise we're heading down this way and also just for good measure just in case there's a, a major correction then you've got this one down here as well hopefully it won't be going down uh, that far but uh, we'll have to wait and see so overnight uh, you will see that uh, prices uh, move lower initially then rebounded up to the 200 ma and then sold off from the 200 ma you can see prices didn't hold there or the previous day's close took out uh, the low here and you see that being moved to the downside we've got a retracement here tried to remove back and again retracement back and at the moment the market sideways waiting for the futures market to open which is uh, five minutes away so let's just uh, compress everything and have a look see where we are a long way from the dp and so we're, again so we're playing with yesterday's uh, low let me just check this is correct um, no, because it's, it's some unknown reason this again is an issue here. It's not uh, yesterday's low. It's the low of the overnight. I don't know why this all of a sudden is being picked up. Anyway, um, keep an eye on the S1s and S2s. And in fact, actually, what I would suggest on this, uh, I need to look into this today and see what's going on. I don't think, as I said yesterday, they're actually, um, just move this back. I don't think they're having a break like they used to. So no, they're not. It's just, just carrying on all the way through, and this is what's happening then. So after midnight, it's uh, it's taking the low that's created here, which is really odd because the yeah, it's taking the low after midnight, which is odd. I'm drawing this on, so I'll I'll have a look at this. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time now, but there's something strange. They used to have a break, and it looks like in the last two days they're not no longer having a a stopover in, uh, in between the close of the futures and then a rest and then reopening it just doesn't seem to be uh, happening so that's the bigger picture so use the figures off here if you want uh, yesterday's low again just take it uh, from here and uh, add that to the chart as well so a lot happening and at the moment they're managing to hammer the silver price as well to the downside they're going to take advantage of this they want to be able to uh, buy silver at cheaper prices so Again, don't be surprised if this gets monkey hammered today down to the 50 bar moving average is going to be crucial and down to this area, which should give us a, a potential buying opportunity here, actually. So I'll be looking at the $26 level. It's going to go down and have a look at that. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. Uh, but they're desperate to keep this to the downside. Uh, and yet there is no physical uh, around, no 1,000 ounce bars either. So it's just a matter of time before it's allowed to move back to the upside and it gives them the opportunity to buy. And once uh, silver or the banks get long on silver at the moment, they're all short and uh, hammering the price to the downside. But once they switch, and they will switch because of greed. They won't give two hoots about uh, the impact of uh, higher silver prices on the manufacturing or anything. It's about making money. So it will go at some point still massively, massively undervalued. We find a monthly chart and just compress the data here and you'll see this is I compressed the chart up uh, nowhere near uh, the all-time high of $50 yet so uh, all markets go back to their highs eventually it's just a matter of time there 
Okay, that will do it for all of this. Let's have a quick run through yesterday. I was trying to keep this uh, a bit shorter um, because of uh, all of the activity, but let's let's just uh, whiz back to uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, the futures market opens and we had uh, the market moving lower. We saw some support coming in. A lot of uh, activity in the futures market yesterday morning. So I'm going to fast forward through this, um, obviously, uh, to... Let me get uh, ready. Here we go. So the market uh, continuing to move lower, finding some support and then making its way back. And uh, let's have a look. I'm going to look at the uh, daily chart just to see where things are. And then we kick off with this uh, potential short and along and then the short gets filled. And then I'm just going to continue through this. So you can see uh, managing the trade. Uh, I thought we were going to get a bit of a bounce there. Uh, left the stop and again uh, just at this point uh, move the stop to break even just to see with the weakness that we've had even though uh, this, this isn't a buying pressure bar this is still some indecision in the market because the range of this bar is actually longer than the previous bar this bar with some buying pressure but I thought well it's worth just seeing what uh, happens and then uh, the market starts to build back very quickly with the volume and uh, it's a case of uh, thank you very much and then you'll see prices trading sideways trying to retrace and then uh, moving sideways to lower again you can see here came to the 20 bar moving average closing below and then uh, eventually moving to the downside there sort of a, a re-entry uh, trade down to the dp and then the market became sideways uh, we had a, a long there which uh, i actually wasn't on uh, but it it, uh, it, that one actually lost uh, 17 uh, points there. And then the market just traded uh, sideways. Uh, another potential long here which failed. And then we had, sorry, a short that uh, didn't happen, it wasn't filled. And then we've got a long, we've already got potential weakness here uh, in this bar. The market's gone really quiet, it's trading in a range, sitting on the DP and uh, decided to... Uh, as you'll see in a moment, so uh, just pull the uh, trade. And that was the, the morning session. And then in the afternoon, unfortunately, I only, it, uh, only got a screenshot, it didn't uh, record. So if we go back to here and then just go through this to uh, yesterday afternoon. And here you will see that uh, we started off with prices moving higher. We got a resistance here, just a sideways move. And then all of a sudden the Dow started to sell off and prices moved lower. And uh, I'm just going to reload this because you can't see the uh, volume properly here. It's not uh, displaying correctly. So let me just reload this chart. Okay, so that's better. So now we can see. So here you, you'll see that the buying came into the market here. Uh, prices sideways. They then retraced back up to the DP, which uh, you'll see there. And... Uh, potential weakness and then we had another short to the downside there 28 points to recoup uh, the loss of 18 points off this initial trade and then this one ended up uh, being at break even when prices came back through the five bar moving average there which uh, I will just mark up for you and uh, show you there and you'll see there as it came back through the five bar moving average uh, break even uh, trade and this is after of course the 4 p.m. Uh, actually, it's this bar, not this one, as it came back. Okay, so that uh, is it uh, for today's uh, alert. Let's see uh, where we're currently at with uh, the market. Let me just do this quickly. See where the futures are. And uh, this is just opened. It's been open three minutes. The market doing its best to try and hold at the moment by the looks of things. And get uh, prices moving back up in uh, the daily chart there above that uh, 89 very important all the 13,700 so we'll see how it copes with uh, this level this is the 13,700 okay that's it uh, for this one again apologies it's uh, a bit long but there's an awful lot happening at the moment so with that uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one